Hey YouTube, I'm Mars1952 and today I'm going to tell you how to get the most life out of your nickel metal hydride batteries. Um, I bought a bunch of Makita uh, 18 and 12 volt power tools about a decade ago and I had each of them came with two batteries. Didn't use all the batteries. Some of them I just kept, you know, stashed away for future use. But it turns out if you let these things run dead and just let them sit for a couple of years, uh, they'll go bad and they can't be revived. And ironically, the batteries like this one that I've used constantly for the last six years or so uh, are still still works pretty well. And the ones like this one, which I've torn apart to uh, refurbish, hardly got used at all. It just died completely. So eventually. Let me zoom in again here. So here's the battery pack out of the 18 volt battery. It uh, takes sub C batteries and I'll post a video on how to rebuild these. So here's the case for the that battery. You see it's like new still. It hardly got used at all. It just sat in, in the toolbox or in the drawer and went bad. So to get the most life out of your nickel metal hydride batteries you've got to do several things. One, don't run them all the way down. Uh, run them down about 75%. It's sort of hard to gauge. Some of the newer batteries are protected. They've got a little extra circuit on there that senses when the battery is run down and it turns the battery off essentially. These older batteries do not have protected protection circuits on them. So you can run them all the way down. Well, that shortens their life somewhat. Uh, the other thing that shortens their life is leaving them uncharged for a period of time. They'll just gradually go bad. Um, so. Ideally, you want to have them topped off on a regular basis. They do need to be exercised, in other words, used. So if you never use it and just top it off on a regular basis, it'll go bad too. So you've got to use it. So don't buy too many batteries. If you, if you do like I do and you have six or eight tools, each came with two batteries, sell off the extra ones. Just keep the ones that you can use on a regular basis. So to keep these things topped off, um, I got a timer. This timer has four charging ports, not charging ports, it's a timer only. And four outlets are timed and four outlets are not timed. And you can only program it for um, either to do something every day or to do it once a week. So I'd rather it could do once a month. I think that would be ideal. If you charge these batteries once a month, it would be great. Uh, what I use these for mostly now are for backup light. Uh, we get frequent power failures here and it's nice to have good flashlights. So these old Makita flashlights and these batteries work great for backup lights. Particularly this one, I put uh, an LED kit in here which I'll talk about in another video. And you set them, point them straight up at the ceiling and turn them on and it, it'll illuminate an entire room for quite a while. So anyway, I still use my battery powered drills and battery powered impact wrenches and I've got battery powered saber saw and I have uh, several other things too. I use those but I don't use them very often. So with this setup the timer is set to turn on once a month or no once a week for half an hour. Half an hour is long enough to charge one of these batteries even when it's fully dead. So it'll top it off once a week and keep them ready to go. So that way when there's a power failure these are ready to go I can just unplug them, plug them into the battery or into the flashlight or whatever I want to do. Now, I keep another one, one other charger here. That one's plugged in to the side that's hot all the time. That way, you know, should I go out and drill a bunch of holes to run the battery down, I can, I can top it off in there. And uh, it'll, if I need to, it'll, it'll charge up. But more than likely, I won't run down two batteries at once. So I'll, I'll use this one, run it down, come back, put it in the charger. Sometime in the week, next week it'll charge. In the meantime, I have this one that's still hot. Um, so, I think that's about it. Don't run your batteries all the way down. Keep them charged. Use them every once in a while and they'll last a long time. These batteries, I believe I purchased these in 2006. It's now 2013. So, these are seven years old and they're still working. Um, now you can, according to the literature, uh, these nickel metal hydride batteries will, you can charge them about a thousand times. So if you're using them every day, like for work, 
and you can get depending on how heavy you're using them you can get a couple hours of work out of them or even all day let's say you charge them every day um, and you mostly ran them down every day not all the way but mostly you should be able to get three years out of these even if you use them every day um, now the newer research on these says that if you don't run them down past 75 percent or Yes, just if you don't discharge them more than 75%, in other words, you keep 25% in reserve, reserve, they'll last almost indefinitely. And we'll see what happens. I'm going to try to keep these things going. So these batteries, these 12 volt ones, I use more often. I was rebuilding a house at the time, building a lot of new stuff, and I would run them down until they just wouldn't work anymore. The battery or the flashlight just, well, what flashlight or a drill, whatever I was using literally wouldn't work anymore. So I, I abused these batteries and they failed. This one and this battery I've rebuilt. And I use batteries like this one here to rebuild them. This is a nickel metal hydride replacement battery, uh, sub C. That's what all the, uh, the older type batteries are made out of. Well, either this or NICAD. Um, and it has tabs on it and those tabs are soldered together. But anyway, that's a different video. All right, well, that's all for today. Um, good luck.